side. The side. <laughs> the side! <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. I've gotten a lot of requests for this from Vietnam. I don't know why. <laughs> we want to know the difference between a pull up and a chin up. That's right. Because for some reason, some sissies don't know. So this is a pull up. And this is a chin up. All right. Okay. That's it. Bye. What? You want more? What? You want more? What? All right, fine. Let's give what? you more. What's gonna be the difference in the benefits when you're doing a pull-up or when you're doing a chin-up? So when you're doing a pull-up, you're like this, right? Your palms are facing forward. Okay. You can see that this muddle, muscle slowly uh, comes out a bit more. This means you're using your forearm a bit more than you usually would because your fingers are facing that way. This is called a pronated grip, but nobody cares about the name. So facing this way, this is what the pull-up will do. It'll also engage your lats a lot more because you're not using your bicep as much when you're doing the pull-up. All right, you can see the difference. When I change my grip like this, the bicep suddenly gets activated. When I do this, it's not. So this will make your back engage a lot more, especially your lats. So, when you do this, you'll get those muscles in. So forearms, back, and lats. All right? When you're doing a pull-up, you can instantly see the bicep suddenly gets activated. Woo! <laughs> now it's doing most of the work, okay? Your forearm, you can see this muscle has gone to the side now. It's not doing as much work now because your bicep is taking the pressure. Because of your bicep taking the pressure, your lats will also take less pressure. What this means is, you're basically going from forearm and back to bicep and some of the back. This, a chin up will also bring a rowing motion in. So when you're doing it, got that side. When you're doing it, you'll see that I'm kind of pulling my back in as well as my biceps. So, this means you're kind of getting a rowing motion as well. So this will get the upper back a bit more. It won't get the lats as much though. So your biceps and upper back, and then pull up, you get the forearms and the lats more. Now how to do it proper form. So your arms should be about shoulder length. You can change this as you want later. I don't know what you guys like. You grab it, all right. Then what you want to do is you don't want to use your legs for kipping. You want to keep your legs like this or like this. Keep your legs in a straight place and make sure you're not dangling too much. Keep your abs tight so that you don't end up wiggling a lot. So you keep your abs tight and then you just pull. Make sure to pull not like this but keeping your arms like that. You want to really get those lats in. Mm. So not, not like this, you want to get it like that. That'll really get this part of the back working. So, when you're doing the chin up, you want to grab it, you want to do it like that. So it'll look like this. <laughs> Same rules for the lower body, keep your abs tight, your legs tight, keep everything tight. And then pull. And that has been the pull up versus the chin up. Thank you for watching. Try not to be this stupid next time. Fade away, fade away, fade away, fade away, fade away. <laughs> You do realize I'm gonna edit a lot of this out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright.